Hey guys, what's going on? And if you do fancy yourselves any Ultimate Team coins, then check out GameGoldTrader.com. I'll leave a link down below so you guys can just click that and uh, it'll take you on your way there. If you use CalFreezy at checkout, you will grab yourself a discount too. I think it might be 10% now. Uh, test it and try it out. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's 10% now. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video. Hey guys, what's going on and welcome to this FIFA 14 possible transfers cards video and it's pretty self-explanatory today I'm gonna be going over just a few cards that um, you may have seen um, some rumors around uh, Possible transfers for these players going to certain clubs and things like that prime example is the one on your screen right now um, Is Hummels from Dortmund to United and uh, it's gonna be interesting to see what happens with this transfer because obviously um, LVG big Louis van Gaal is really interested in bringing in quite a number of new players. I mean, Manchester United certainly need to spend um, if they want to bring their team back to the back to the top four, really. And uh, it wouldn't, it doesn't, it would not surprise me if we see a lot more signings from Manchester United. And I'm sure Van Gaal knows exactly what he's doing. But this has been one of his big targets, and I think he would be an amazing signing for Manchester United. United don't necessarily have a great defense at the moment. Um, they did make a, a really good signing actually of Luke Shaw. That was for 30 million. But I think Hummels would be. Be a fantastic signing as well and uh, it wouldn't surprise me if he went but at the same time it'd be a bit strange because I'm so used to seeing um, Dortmund uh, sorry uh, Hummels in the Dortmund kit and uh, he's been quality over there but uh, it won't it, it, it would be great to have him over in the Premier League put him that way but uh, yeah I'm, I've no idea the sort of fee that he might go over for either so yeah that's Matt Hummels and we might see him at Manchester United Next up is the man David Ospina. Now this guy looks a whole lot like Air Japes and uh, you know he's not necessarily a very popular player but uh, he is uh, possibly on his way to Arsenal. Now um, just before I did this video I actually looked up and uh, there are some rumors that he's already an agreed a four year contract to Arsenal but I'm not entirely sure if that's true. I haven't seen it confirmed by the uh, like the, the big official you know for me BBC Sports, um, Sky Sports sometimes they're the ones that I tend to look out for the uh, official stuff but uh, goal.com uh, says that there's a four-year uh, contract with Arsenal completed so um, that could be a possibility and it'll be interesting to see if he does end up going but uh, yeah he'll be among some pretty good keepers over there Chesney and Fabianski and uh, he's rumored to join them after um, their USA tour so that'll be interesting to see if that move actually happens anyways let's move on to the next one this lad here, Loic Remy, was actually on loan to Newcastle for uh, a season last season. He was really, really good. He is actually a QPR player. But uh, yeah, like I said, he was on loan at Newcastle. A lot of people actually think he is a Newcastle player, but he isn't. He's is a uh, QPR player who was just on loan, and he actually played pretty well. I asked a few of my Newcastle friends, what did you think to uh, Loic Remy? And they they said he was, you know, he was really good, considering they were just not playing that well as a team once Kabaye left. Things were not looking that great for them um uh, uh remy stepped up and he did a good job you know of course at newcastle he wasn't necessarily getting amazing service or anything like that but i think a lot of newcastle fans really ex uh respected the sort of effort and the performance he put in for newcastle um in general that season so uh yeah like remy uh, could be on his way to liverpool this has been talked about so so much liverpool are in plenty of transfer news at the moment um there's always a lot of talk around liverpool when it comes to this sort of stuff um and of, of course they got rid of louis Suarez not too long ago uh, for a load of money so a lot of journalists are reckoning that they're going to dip into that pot of Luis Suarez money and try and spend it and this could be their first signing since Luis Suarez um, got the uh, got sold so uh, yeah Loic Remy will be a, a really good player actually for Liverpool if they sign him and definitely need it and I still think Liverpool do need a sort of a, a marquee signing a big name signing if you will um, although admittedly Brendan Rodgers knows what he's doing he knows what he's up to so uh, I don't don't want to uh, kind of uh, get in the way of that and say that he's doing anything wrong but I do think they need you know they need a big name signing and it's been a while since Liverpool have actually had one anyways um, moving on to the next guy we have got Falcao. Now, Falcao, uh, he is, you know, he, he he moved, what was it, from uh, Atletico Madrid, and then he moved to AS Monaco, and now it looks like he could be on his way to Real Madrid. Although, with that being said, this is one of the rumors that looks like it might not actually happen, because he did come out the other day and say that he was happy at AS Monaco, and that he was happy with what they're doing here, their project, all that sort of thing. So, I mean, I, of course, the, at the end of the day, those, those words, 
words tend to mean nothing. It is something to think about that he comes out after some transfer rumors and he comes out and says things like that. So uh, a lot of people have kind of squashed the rumors that he's on his way to Real Madrid. But I thought I'd put that card in there because let's be honest, guys, that card looks absolutely beautiful. And uh, it would be just Real Madrid are just snapping up some gods. Speaking of gods that they've snapped up, here we have James or James Rodriguez. I decided to put his team of the year one in because I really like this guy. This guy is a fantastic player. And uh, I said possible transfer cards. This is actually a confirmed transfer card to those of you guys who are curious. It actually got confirmed literally as I was piecing this video together. It got confirmed. I had already like made the card and everything because it was, a, it was technically a possible transfer as I was making the video. And then as I was making it, it got confirmed. So I was like, oh, well, I'll just leave him in there and let you guys know that it is confirmed. He completed his medical and he is now a Real Madrid player. It is for an undisclosed fee. So the fee hasn't been released yet of how much he went for but uh, I imagine it was an absolute bucket load I mean uh, AS Monaco would have asked for so much money for him considering he had a great World Cup performances and prices always tend to be sort of inflated after the World Cup so that is that guys I hope you did all enjoy this video and if you have any other players that you think are on the fringe of being uh, transferred to a new club you know just on the edge of being transferred then let me know um, leave a comment and I'll do my best to add them into the next video guys I hope you have all enjoyed this video and if you have make sure you leave a like leave a comment leave all that good stuff I'm still ill you might be able to hear it in my voice got a bit of a stuffed nose or whatever and uh yeah i'm actually away for a little bit uh, vi uh uploads won't be as regular but i am still ill and that's why i haven't been able to uh, kind of uh make videos ahead of time while i'm away but uh, yeah i apologize for that guys hope you're all having a great day Bye bye